Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is testing how well do you know your angle rules and very often with questions like this we need to know more than one angle rule on a single diagram. So let's take a look at what we've got. Here is a rectangle, some lines have been drawn inside. Work out the size of the angle marked A and explain your reasoning. Well this is actually a three stage problem. Now there's no way we can actually go straight to working out what A is worth inside one step. It's almost like a jigsaw. Sometimes you can't put in the piece of the jigsaw that you actually want to put in, which is A, until we've put in other pieces of the jigsaw first. And sometimes the other pieces of the jigsaw are not even mentioned. So the key thing here is that A is inside a triangle. And if we can work out the other angles inside the triangle, we know that angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So inside a triangle, it must total 180 degrees. So if we could work out this angle here marked with a red dot and the other angle marked with a red dot, then we would be able to figure out what A was. So if we can find those two angles marked with a red dot, then we're on, on to a winner. So, job number one, let's take this corner here. Now, this is in the corner of the rectangle. Now, as we know, corners of a rectangle are right angles. So, a right angle is 90 degrees. So, right angle is 90 degrees, and we've already got 35 degrees. So, if we subtract 35 from 90, we'll have the first of our red dots. So 0 take away 5 we can't do, so borrow from the 9, the 9 becomes an 8, and the 1 we've borrowed makes the 0 into 10. 10 take away 5 is 5, and 8 take away 3 is also 5. So this first red dot here must be the 55 degrees. So let's write that in as 55 degrees. Now secondly, we've got a straight line here. So this yellow line is a straight line, and these two angles are sitting on that straight line. And as we know, angles on a straight line are also add up to 180. So angles on a straight line total 180 degrees. Now we've already got this 112, so if we do 180 subtract 112, will have the other angle that's been marked with a red dot. Well, zero take away two, we can't do, so borrow. The eight becomes a seven, and the one we've borrowed makes that zero into 10. 10 take away two is eight, seven take away one is six, and one take away one is nothing. So that's 68 degrees. So the other angle marked with a red dot must be 68 degrees. And now we're almost there, because we said a few minutes ago that angles inside the triangle total 180. Well, now we can focus on the red triangle. We've got a 55 degrees in the bottom corner and a 68 degrees in the other corner. So if we add those together to see what we've got so far, so 55 plus 68, what's that equal? 8 plus 5 is 13, put the 3 in, carry the 1. 5 plus 6 is 11, plus the 1 is 12. So we've got 123 degrees so far. But as we said, the total needs to be 180. So if we subtract that 123 off of 180, whatever's left will be our final, final answer. So 0 take away 3, we can't do. So borrow, the 8 becomes a 7, and the 1 we've borrowed makes that 0 into 10. 10 take away 3 is 7, 7 take away 2 is 5, and 1 take away 1 is nothing. So it looks as though our final answer is 57 degrees. So that angle A there is 57 degrees. It's always a good idea, whenever you've found a missing angle, go back to the diagram and actually write it on the diagram. Just to double check, we could see if our angle of 57, 55 and 68 actually does add up to 180 inside the triangle. Let's just do a quick check. 57, 55 and 68. What does that equal? 7 plus 5 is 12. 
plus 8 is 20, put the 0 in, carry the 2. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 6 is 16, plus 2 is 18. So it does look as though they are the angles inside our red triangle.